time has come. All nations, all the means of communications, the Church of Jesus Christ, gather to hear the ruler of the Gentiles, one who died, was resurrected, and returned to life. He has returned. The Lord is here. José Luis de Jesús Miranda The Man Christ Jesus Hello Blessed Today's topic is Living the Age to Come And now The Man Christ Jesus Today's topic is Living in the Age to Come The world Divides the times this way before Christ and after Christ. But before Christ, there were thousands of years. But that was the present evil age because Moses was the head of that, of those ages. That's why the psalmist said, for the ages of the ages, because many ages went by, but that was the present evil age. Number one, because the devil was there. Satan was there. Number two, the law was there accusing ministry of death, the law. Sin was present. So then the great day of the Lord came. That's how the prophet said, the great day of the Lord is coming. And which was that day? That when God incarnated, went to the cross, resurrected from the dead, destroyed the devil, put an end to the law, and he took sin out of the way. As soon as as Christ resurrected, we entered into the age to come. But the only one who knew it was Paul. There were some very perverse men that God called them the rulers of this world that opposed Paul. Paul calls that the mystery of lawlessness. No one knew that. Who would think that the 11 apostles were the leaders of the mystery of lawlessness. God has given growing in grace ministry, the information, the age to come started. But that age, the powers of the age to come have a phraseology. You cannot speak however you want there. You have to say blessed, God bless you, has to vanish. There, you need a certain phraseology. That's why you were given the mind of Christ, so that you could speak according to the mind of Christ. The mind of Christ was given to an apostle. But the problem is that that apostle was also a ruler of this age, and it wasn't for him. This wasn't for him. He was one of those rulers with the correct revelation. And God told him, write it, and then I'm going to vanish you from the earth. In this age to come, you have to serve God with your mind. That's what Paul said. So then, with the mind, I myself serve the law of God, but with the flesh, the law of sin. In this age to come, you have to compare the spiritual things with the spiritual. In this age to come, you have to learn to call things that are not as if they are. Not looking at the things that you can see, but the things that you cannot see because those are eternal. Here, in this age to come, you speak the predestined wisdom. Let's look for 1 Corinthians chapter 2. That your faith should not be in the wisdom of, which is the wisdom of men? Well, of that present evil age, which we were delivered from but in the power of God. However, we speak wisdom among those who are mature, yet not the wisdom of this, hello? Wisdom of this, huh? Isn't that the wisdom of that age? Well, Paul said, we do not speak of wisdom of this age, nor of the rulers of this age who are coming to nothing. And who were the rulers of that age? The apostles. Look at what it says. 
but we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery, the hidden wisdom, which God, listen, which God ordained before the what? Notice that the evil ages came and Christ came and he delivered us from that present age. And then this wisdom was before the ages were. It was predestined. What does predestined mean? That it was a previous agreement. God destined a word. He predestined a wisdom for you, the predestined. Because how will you know that you're predestined if there wasn't a wisdom that was going to tell you that? That wisdom came predestined. It says that he had it hidden. For our glory. God shared his glory with you. In the previous age, he did not share his glory. In this age to come, he shares his glory. But God has revealed them to us through the gospel. By what? His spirit. And how can the spirit reveal it to you? reading so then if it's reading the spirit god deals with us through the gospel revealed to paul because the spirit so then that means that there will be lots of interpretations it says that god has revealed them to us through his spirit the spirit here is the gospel and then it says here for the spirit searches all things why because the gospel allows you to search even the deep things of God. For what man knows the things of a man except for the spirit of a man which is in him? Even so, no one knows the things of God except the spirit of the gospel, the spirit of God. Now, we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit who is from God that is we might know the things that have been freely given to us by God. How do you know it? When you read it. So here, the spirit is the gospel that was given to Paul. That's the spirit. That's what, look how it keeps saying. These things, we also speak not in words which man's wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Spirit teaches. And how does the spirit teach? Comparing spiritual things with spiritual. But he who is spiritual judges all things, yet he himself is rightly judged by no one. For who has known the mind of the Lord that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. Do you know what it is, a human being, to have the mind of Christ here on earth? That's why every time... We look more and more like the Lord. We speak like him. We think like him. Nothing moves us. News of death or earthquakes or explosions. The decree helps us. If it's in the decree, what happened? Nothing has happened here. Where my thoughts organized.